Uh oh guys. Oh, that smoke detector is tweaking. What's up and what's glorious YouTube the World Wide Web? As you guys can see, man, it's your host with the most Paul Can 2 in a brand new backdrop. So this is a bedroom in my house that I typically don't shoot in. However, the lighting in my typical like studio room just at this time of day, bro, gets blasted by perfect squares of light that just mess up the shots with different weird exposure levels. So I decided to go ahead and throw a couple items on this wall, decorate it a tad bit, and actually shoot a video in this environment and just see how it goes. So yes, man, before we get into it, I just wanna say this, just get a couple things off my chest. Uh, yeah, dude, for the past two months, I've been really focused on my website and selling gear and just stacking tons and tons of money, just working on personal goals financially, I guess. But I've realized, as a lot of people probably can testify uh, to the same rationale is, the more money I make, the happier I definitely am not. And just taking photos, editing photos, updating my site over and over, while it does make me a ton of money per hour, is not the most fun thing to do, and I definitely like making YouTube videos way more. So I'm getting back to the YouTube roots, and just am gonna really dive in to this whole YouTube game and lane once again, because I've been dividing my time pretty much between the website and YouTube, and I'd rather have my full-time gig be YouTube and just do the website part-time just to uh, cover some expenses, you feel me? But enough chit chat, man. We have a huge subscriber appreciation video and unboxing. Legit, guys, I have like these four packages in hand and I have four more off camera. So I've gotten a lot of stuff off eBay and a lot of things from you guys. Speaking of which, in this backdrop, I know you guys see this plant. It's like right in the corner, right over here. And my brethren, I am not kidding you. The homie John Paul, a subscriber, randomly hit me up yesterday and told me he worked at a hotel and had a bunch of plants for free. Actually, let me just cut it here and roll the clip. I didn't know where to put this in a video, so it's going in right now because I truly am so grateful. All right, this is some random appreciation and love. The homie John Paul DM me on Instagram. He works at, or he worked at the Wyndham Hotel and unfortunately they're closing down, but look at all these plants that they had in the lobby. He hit me up last minute. I ran across town to gain access to all these plants. So yes, like the Pope he is named after, he is bestowing blessings upon Paul Plant 2. Oh my gosh, this is amazing, dude. Thank you, brother. Yeah, for sure, bro. No worries. Bro, my house is about to turn into a jungle. I just had to record this because this is kind of a very uh, crazy and random scenario that popped up, but it's amazing at the same time. So I appreciate you, brother. For sure, man. Damn. Anyways, um, let's get into the first package right now. These are a mix between eBay purchases and things y'all sent me. So let's get it. Trish! <laughs> All right, my brothers. So we're in the package. Uh, this is from Mike Funk. Yes. And these are actually eBay purchases. What the heck? Okay, bro, this is crazy. So I did pull up on a vintage snapback lot and I got these hats for a steal. So you have the cool cigarettes, you feel me, green trucker hat, a beautiful rendition of a cap. You also have the ops, the competition, the camel cigarettes. This is like a chlorine pool, tie dye, a little snapback. Uh, look at that little camel on the back, bro. Bro, for some reason, I definitely believe the camel is smoking the reefer, and he's educated, bro, with bad vision. Look at those glasses. Then also in this package was his beautiful Bucks snapback right here, and what's really cool is on the back, it says Buck the System. Ah. And then last but not least, check this out. You have the Winston cigarette, free cap, Ooh. brand new in the box. What the heck, it says free cap with carton purchase. So this box definitely matches the vibe of the room. I really was gonna do um, estate sale hauls in like more antique type of video conclusions in here, but I just couldn't wait. Look how this hat is folded. Bro, I always rant about shipping hats in boxes. Bro, this is shipping a hat in a box gone completely wrong. Like this is some crazy ass origami. Oh man, and look, the snaps just immediately broke. That is depressing. All right, so I definitely got one hat less than was projected, and I feel like I look like a whole idiot. <laughs> 
swag. So moving on, we have another package right here. This is from uh, Manuel Villalobos. What the heck, Villa's like house and Lobos are like, what, wolves or coyotes? So the house of coyotes? Bro, that's a lit last name, man. I just deciphered that. All right, Ahem. we have a note. So this is from one of you guys. It says, to Paul, since I fucks with your bitch ass, whoa, <laughs> demonetized, I seen you don't have these in your collection of VHS tapes. I'm also sending you these vintage, uh, I'm not gonna say it, to make for the kids when things get back to normal. Keep doing what you're doing and go cop something from my punk ass at on the hunt 90701 eBay and IG. All right, so these are for my girl when she gets back to teaching, which she already is, but you have these sick, like Donald Duck molds, bruh. Like you have the whole freaking gang of queso colored poultry. Look at this, little fine ass female duck. Hopefully she's 18, you feel me? And this dude over here looking like he's about to tickle the gang. And then inside we have the VHS collection. Okay, so I cannot wait to actually crack into these. And I'm finna start downloading these VHSs, converting them to digital files, so I can put in clips in my videos. But this says, not so great moments in sports. Absolutely beautiful. You have the uh, 1987 world champs, the Los Angeles. Lakers, bro, look at the caricature drawing, bro. That is art, you feel me? Um, are the Lakers gonna win this NBA Finals? Y'all let me know. And you have the two tape set, ha, oh, two time. Uh, this is the hilarious sports bloopers. So yeah, man, these are definitely gonna have some memorable moments to say the least, and this is dead stock. So I appreciate you, Manuel. Um, you a real one for that. And thanks for sending my girl those molds, dude. Like maybe we'll make alcoholic jello beverages and put them in there. <laughs> Anything is possible. Not for the kids though, for us. All right, so this next package looks like something I got off eBay uh, because it says eBay <laughs> on the box. Damn, this horse keeps smacking me in the skull. Jesus, I'm getting concussed up in here. I'm about to start wearing damn helmets while I do this. All right guys, we're in here. So this is a grail of all grails, bro. I purchased this hat, I wanna say for like 20 bucks, maybe it was 15, I don't know, it's for the personal. Let me adjust the snaps before I reveal it. You guys already know, I hate a what? Bruh. I hate a Goofy especially. I hate a Goofy especially. Look at the color blocked Goofy vintage snapback. Bro, the tramp stamp all embroidered on the back. Oh. My God, bro, I feel like Janice. This thing, it definitely fits me good. Like, bro, I don't even gotta see myself. No flip out screen, <laughs> it's unnecessary. I can just feel the way it's gripping my scalp. It's caressing my hair follicles, bro. And yeah, I'm definitely keeping this one and rocking it in the personal. Wow, this is fire. Bro, I swear. Every time I make a good eBay purchase, I just wanna shout out myself and plug my own Instagram because I am just that proud of myself. All right, this next package, I feel like it's from one of y'all because this is so heavy um, and I don't remember purchasing like 80,000 things on eBay. So let's get up in here. What the heck is this? This says recovery through art and expression. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful package right here. This is the recovery tattoo mailer. So thank you, whoever sent me this. Okay, let's get up in here. All right, so <laughs> maybe I open this upside down, I don't know. There's this Hawaiian uh, jersey, interesting. We have this intergalactic, what appears to be space odyssey jacket. Bro, what is all this stuff? You got some vintage in here too? You got like the NBA warm up? What a weird, odd, eclectic collection of things. I feel like there definitely is a note at the bottom of this and I may have opened it upside down, but oh my God, this is fire. Bro, the Cleveland Indians all embroidered, hold on, fumble, majestic jersey. Look at that red thread count. Bro, this thing is absolutely icy. I swear, man, whoever sent me this, yo, 
I love you. Hey, you got the Iwo Jima Memorial, you feel me? Um, World War II status, shout out everyone who served. I don't think any of y'all are watching this, but my grandfathers did, so yeah, man. You have the Christmas was a broken, ha. Huh. And you got the little gingerbread man, low key losing a limb or two. Bro, there's no note in that package whatsoever. Tripping. And then there are some, <laughs> There's some starter pants as well with the side snap, so easy access for the ladies to get on them legs. Okay, let me see who is this from. This is from a uh, Schuyler Brossard. I don't understand a word you just said. Skyler, I think that's how you say your name, Brossard. So I appreciate that, Skyler. Um, if I'm saying your name wrong, yo, I'm illiterate, bro. You can't blame me. This is the education system I was thrown into, all right? Public school for life. You have the Christmas was a broken. Stupid. Okay, let's get into this next package right here. And it appears it already is coming open. This was an eBay purchase and it is another hat. I just, bro, I love hats. This says my balls, my rules, <laughs> excuse me. My ball, singular, you dig? All right, yeah, there you go, look at that hat. Yeah, I, I know that shit was kind of blurry, look at that hat. Oh boy, look at this man, Oh. So you have the Tasmanian Devil Denver Broncos all embroidered snapback. Wow, this thing is super clutch. I don't even remember how much I got this for, but I'm so glad I got it. Now this package is from um, the homie Gerald Williams. <sighs> look at the amount of like tape and wrapping on this. Excessive, but impressive at the same time. Let's hop in. All right, we're going straight caveman. Hey, cavemen rode horses though, bro, straight up. You ever seen Planet of the Apes? Okay, so we are in this package and there is a note. So yes, it is reading time. <laughs> this says, what's good, Paul? It's Riggedy again from Riggedy Fishing Adventures. Yo, what's happening, homie? I'm sending these items I found over a few months of hitting the thrifts to redeem myself for sending you those fake <laughs> military blue Jordan 4s. I just wanted uh, to put your artistic mind to use. Didn't expect to get spammed up with people in my comments section on my page. Hey, y'all don't do that, man. You motherfuckers. Y'all spamming the homie. I didn't even know that that was happening, bro. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this stuff. Stay safe. Well, at least people checked out your page, bro. So ultimately, you got what was necessary done. So yeah, y'all go F with the homie, go uh, apologize on this page. Nah, man, it's all love either way, it's cool. Like, it takes a while to figure out if something's fake or not anyways. But, <laughs> number one, the homie sent me the turtle, which is my spirit creature. You guys already freaking know. Uh, this is like, what the hell, does this change colors? Yeah, this is like a, a Rolls Royce, except the turtle, man. There are stars in the ceiling. But in this case, the, the ceiling's the shell. Is that in a Rolls Royce? I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm not super well versed with vehicles. I caught the Lambo last video, though. And, um, oh, wow. This is beautiful. So the homie also threw in this Old Spice NASCAR tee, bruh. Hey, my Old Spice still shining through, bro. I can still sniff it through the fabric, you feel me? And this was a thrifted garment, and someone sent this to me as well, so yeah. This will probably be featured in my next unboxing. I'll uh, S around and rock the Old Spice shirt. Hopefully I turn into a swole ass dude, God willing. Hello ladies. Okay, this is actually hilarious. The homie also sent me a, <laughs> this back scratcher right here, which I definitely need, bro, low key. I have another one in the backdrop, so if I combine Mickey's hands and I press them together, I can pop back pimples, bro. And y'all remember, if you have acne problems, you can't spell pimple without pimp. Don't let anybody tell you different, all right? This is really cool. Thank you so much for the back scratcher and for the um, hen, or I guess, car lamp. Bro, what? Okay, you're going in on this one, man. You really are trying to redeem yourself, huh? Bro, this is crazy. So much love, man. It's going down in the hen house. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for this. I do have a crazy cock and hen collection pause um, in my house. And then, bro, once again, bro, you got that poultry, that chicken palooza 2018 Royal Farms, huh? Nice little workout shirt. Or, uh, you know, Paul Plants who will redo his yard in that. And then last and not least, this is actually amazing. Thank you so much, Riggedy. You have the Peanuts Metal Lunchbox. This looks, yeah, this is more contemporary, but it still is so clean and it's quality as hell. Look at those comic strips, bro. Like, dude, if God forbid I gotta use books as toilet paper, I can still 
read this lunchbox as a last resort or at least attempt to illiterate. This is amazing. Thank you so much, homie. You guys quit cyberbullying people, man. Before I come over there and beat your ass. Wait, is that cyberbullying? I don't know, bro. Hey, I'm a man of contradiction. This last and final package today, actually F that, we're gonna open two more. Um, but this one is covered in Boston Terriers. So shout out everyone from Boston. This is from Chris, Christine, excuse me, Davis. Yeah, it would be from a chick, man. Boston Terriers are ugly, bro. I don't even care, man. Like, bruh, chicks love ugly dogs. I don't know what it is, bruh. They also love ugly men, so shout out all of us who pull some baddies that uh, low-key we shouldn't. But thank God women aren't as judgmental. Oh, no, I purchased this. What am I talking about? Man, I bought this off eBay. Hey, shout out Christine, though. Bruh, this shirt is heat, and it matches. Ahem. It matches the little, like, tings that the other homie sent me with the ducks on them. What are those called? Molds. Bro, you got Donald Duck right here, all stribbity striped. Why did this say it was like, bro, this is not size medium in what world, bro? This thing is like a size small. But look at the color blocking, dude. This was made in Portugal. If this fits me hella stupid, it's gonna hit the website, bro. Cause I got this for my own like titty um, touching these vintage textures. But I don't know if that's happening, man. This is amazing. Yes, you already know what time it is. Okay. This is the last one of the day. This is a clean package. You got nice handwriting. Who is this? Uh, Sean Pigeon. <laughs> right, your last name is Pigeon, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> Sean Rat of the Sky. No, let me stop. You might, uh, you might be a supporter. Or you might be an eBay reseller. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this is an eBay purchase. Shout out that boy, Sean Pigeon. Bro, I got these hats for, I think, 15 bucks. I got three vintage ahem, Indianapolis Colts hats right here. So you have the blue version, you have the white rendition, and then you have the black colorway with the blue underbrim. I thought it'd be green for some reason. Nope, no greens in this thing. Bro, these are all very clean. Sometimes I'd be finding steals, bro, no lie. But shout out Sean Pigeon, man. I hope you're out there, you know, flying somewhere, getting free food or eating pizza that someone dropped on the ground. Anyways, I love y'all, man. Uh, live the dream, eat that ice cream. Once again, bro, I'm on vacation right now. So there might be a little, a little stall out in videos. But trust me, when I come back, I am smacking the rest of 2020 out the park. It's been a shitty ass year. We all know that. And I'm going to make sure the last two months are full of entertainment, thrifting, customizations. And I'm back on that YouTube grind, daddy. So let's get it, man. Live the dream. Eat that vegan ice cream. Don't come at me, bro. Y'all know I'm still with any. Uh, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life. I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.